brain. I'm Caillou. Today was Halloween, so Mommy and Daddy had invited all of Caillou's friends for a spooky party. Can I have a cupcake, Mommy? Not just yet, Caillou. We have to get them ready for the Halloween party. Oh, all right. Why don't you help me decorate some? Okay. Let's draw a pumpkin. Which color do you think we should use? Orange. Pumpkins are orange, Mommy. That's right, Caillou. <laughs> Here, you try one. I'm going to make the biggest pumpkin ever! Don't squeeze it too hard, Caillou. It was too late. Caillou had squeezed icing all over the kitchen. Oops, sorry, Mommy. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go and get you changed into your costume. Your party guests will be arriving soon. Caillou found Rosie and Daddy decorating the living room for the party. Hi, Caillou. What do you think of the decorations? Spooky enough for the party? It looks amazing! Caillou suddenly noticed that all of the ghosts had smiley faces. Hey! I thought ghosts were meant to be scary, not happy! Oh, I think Rosie's happy ghosts are perfect for our party. We don't want to get too scared. <laughs> all of Caillou's friends had arrived for the party. They all looked very scary in their Halloween costumes. Roar! Nice pirate costume, Sarah! Yar! Your dinosaur costume is great too, Caillou. Okay, everyone, it's time to play a spooky game. The mystery box. What do we have to do? You put your hand inside the box and touch the spooky thing inside. If you guess it right, you win a prize. Caillou didn't like the sound of touching something spooky, but he did like winning prizes. Yuck! What is it, Caillou? It feels like a bowl of slimy worms! Ew! Oh, not quite. Here, take a look. <laughs> oh, it was just spaghetti! Caillou felt relieved that he hadn't touched real worms. Okay, your turn now. Yuck! I think I've got eyeballs! Eek! Mine has a bowl of teeth inside! Gross! It feels like fingers! Fingers? Oh, it's okay. They're just baby carrots. Oh! It wasn't eyeballs, it was just grapes! And the teeth were actually candy corn! Yummy! That wasn't a scary game after all, Mommy! You tricked us! Hey! Who... Uh, who turned out the lights? Caillou, come back! It's only me! That was super scary! I thought you were a real ghost! Me too! I wasn't scared! I knew that it wasn't really a ghost because ghosts aren't real! Hey, where did Leo go? I guess Rosie's ghosts were scary after all.
It was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you? Hmm, a firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut! No, have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes! Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy! Abracadabra! Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume, and suddenly she didn't want to dress up and go out. No! You don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clown costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou <laughs> was happy Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's a lot. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Oh! <laughs> Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween! <laughs> yeah. Today, Caillou was going on a holiday trip. 
He was very excited. He had never been inside an airplane before. The plane's so big, Mommy. Much bigger than the ones up in the sky. <laughs> it looks bigger because you're closer to it, Caillou. Come on, we have to find our seats. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your flight today. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. We've never been on an airplane before. Airplane! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Caillou and Rosie. Let me show you where your seats are. Here we are. Can I sit by the window, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. You can sit next to the window too, Rosie. You have to put your seatbelt on before we take off. Let me know if you need anything. Caillou tried to put on his seatbelt, but it was a little tricky. Do you need some help putting your seatbelt on, Caillou? No, I can do it. Uh, uh, maybe just a little help. Hello, everyone. This is your captain speaking. We're ready for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Look! We're flying, Mommy! Caillou watched as the ground got further and further away. Soon, he could see the whole town below him. Look at all the houses! They're so small! Can you see our house, Caillou? Caillou wanted to get a better look out the window, but his seatbelt was holding him down. Sorry, Caillou, but you have to keep your seatbelt on until the captain turns off the seatbelt light. Where is the captain? The captain is in the cockpit flying the plane. I wish I could be a captain and fly the plane. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Caillou. Caillou looked back out of the window, but his town had <gasps> disappeared. Everything was gray now. Hey, where did our town go? We're going through the clouds, Caillou. Caillou was amazed. Wow. It had been so wet and gray at the airport, but now it was bright and sunny. Wow! It's all sunny! It's always sunny above the clouds. The clouds look like mountains, Mommy. That's right. They do. Look, Caillou. The captain says it's safe to take our seatbelts off now. Hi, Caillou. I hope you're hungry. We get lunch in the sky? You sure do. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! I get my own little table, too. Airplanes are the best! Hello again, everyone. We're going to be landing very soon. I hope everyone is looking forward to their holiday trips. Caillou saw that the captain had turned the seatbelt light on. Look, Mommy. I did it by myself. Great job, Caillou. I can see our town again. <laughs> That's a different town, Caillou. We're flying over a different country. Hi. You must be Caillou and Rosie. Did you enjoy your first flight? Yes, it was amazing! Somebody told me that you wanted to fly the plane. Can I? <laughs> when you're older, for sure. But for now, I'd like to make you and Rosie honorary pilots. Thank you! I hope you enjoy your holiday. Caillou was very excited to start his holiday, but he really couldn't wait to fly back on the airplane again. It was a very special day at Caillou's house because today was Mommy and Daddy's wedding anniversary.
Caillou was helping Daddy make a special dinner to celebrate. Is it ready yet, Daddy? Almost, Caillou. Just a little while longer. Mmm, it smells yummy. Let's go into the garden, Caillou. We need to pick some vegetables to make a salad. Caillou looked at all the vegetables in the garden. There were lots to choose from. Which vegetables do we need, Daddy? First, we need a nice fresh head of lettuce. Can you see one? Caillou knew that a head of lettuce was round and had big green leaves. Here it is! I found it! Great job, Caillou! How about some juicy tomatoes? Right there! The little red ones! That's right! Okay, the last vegetable we need is a carrot. That's an easy one! Caillou knew that carrots were orange and pointy, but he couldn't see them anywhere. There are no carrots, Daddy! Look down here, Caillou. Carrots grow under the ground. See? Oh! That's where they were hiding! We'll need two carrots to make the salad. Can you pull out another one? I got it! <laughs> Great job, Caillou! That's everything we need. Let's go and see if Mommy needs any help. Mommy and Rosie were in the kitchen. Caillou was excited to show Mommy the carrot he had picked. Look, Mommy! A carrot! I pulled it out of the ground! It looks very tasty. It'll need washing before we can eat it, though. Do you want to help me set the table for our special dinner? Okay! Hold on a minute, Caillou. We have to wash our hands first. My hands are all messy! They're clean now! There we go. Much better. The fork goes on the left. Fork on the left. And the knife goes on the right. And the knife on the right. Nice job, Caillou. I'm all done making the salad, Caillou. Shall we go upstairs and get you changed into your nice clothes? Yay! Caillou liked dressing up in his nice clothes. They made him feel very important. Caillou had enjoyed the special dinner. Everything was so yummy. Happy anniversary. Oh! Thank you very much. What is an anniversary, Mommy? An anniversary is a day to celebrate something special. It's been another year since Daddy and I got married. Oh! Daddy had bought Mommy a shiny gold necklace. Caillou thought that it was very beautiful. So pretty, Mommy. Pretty! I think you and Rosie deserve extra big slices of cake for being so helpful today. Wow! That's the biggest piece of cake ever! Caillou had loved the special dinner, especially the cake. Today, Caillou and Rosie were in the park practicing riding their bicycles. They were having lots of fun cycling up and down the path together. <laughs> Look, Mommy! No feet! That's very impressive, Caillou. Hi, Caillou. Caillou noticed that all his friends were riding their bicycles without training wheels on. Hey, where are your training wheels? We don't need them anymore. Watch! Come on, Caillou. We're going to go right down the hill. Caillou felt a little silly. He didn't want to be the only one using training wheels. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want my training wheels anymore, Daddy. I want to ride my bicycle like a grown-up. Well, if you think you're ready, I could teach you to ride without them. I'm 
ready. There you go, Caillou. Caillou was eager to catch up with his friends. He hopped straight on his bicycle and tried to ride it. Wait for me! Careful, Caillou. You haven't ridden without training wheels before. Ouch! Mommy, I fell off! Oh, poor Caillou. Never mind. Let me kiss it better. Mommy kissed Caillou's knee. It made it feel much better. It feels better now, Mommy. You're very brave, Caillou. Let's try again, but let me hold you up this time. You have to learn to balance first. Okay, ready? Let's go. Hold on tight, Caillou. Whoa! It's okay. You're doing great. Don't let go, Daddy! <laughs> I already have, Caillou. Caillou was riding the bike all by himself. I'm doing it! Great job, Caillou! Look! I don't need my training wheels anymore! Wow, Caillou! You're really good at riding your bike! Thanks! Daddy taught me how! Let's go down the hill again! As Caillou rode down the hill, he could feel the wind rushing against his face. It was lots of fun! I think I went the fastest! No way, I was the fastest! How about we have a race to see who's the fastest? Great idea, Clem! Okay, guys, the first one to go around that tree and back is the winner of the race. Are you going to race too, Rosie? Zoom, zoom! Okay, is everyone ready? Ready! ready. Three? Two, one, go! <laughs> Caillou and his friends raced off towards the tree, pedaling as fast as they could. But Rosie struggled to keep up on her little tricycle. <laughs> I'm going to win! Rosie, you won the race! Well done, Rosie! Wow! You must have gone really fast, Rosie! I didn't even see you go past me! Caillou knew that Rosie hadn't really won the race properly, but he also knew that she was only little. When you're ready, I'll teach you to ride a grown-up bike just like me! Oh. It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake! Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First, we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go! Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops. How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! Caillou wanted to skip a stone, too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work! How did you make it bounce, Mommy? 
<laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? That's perfect. Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou! Froggy! <laughs> oh, look! Rosie's found a frog! We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun! The tent is back up. Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay. Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy! Don't eat it! It's mine! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Hmm, it's all gooey inside. Wow, what was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already. It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> chugga, 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 choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? I know. How about we all play a game of hide-and-seek? Yay! I love hide-and-seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie, and Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea! Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. Okay, Caillou, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry. I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think 
I saw someone behind that tree. I found you! <laughs> well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! Watermelon! Oh, no! Oops, don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box, but they were all gone. Oh, no. There's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh, no! Ants! They're on me! They're on me! Me too! It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide and seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. <laughs> Caillou is going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yup. Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy, a slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See, rule number one, no running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou! I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool, but now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy, I'm swimming! Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou. Just a little further. I made it all by myself. You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. It's okay. I'll go under the water <laughs> another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there. What's your name? Caillou! Hi, Caillou. I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right. And thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. 
Now you can be a lifeguard too. But only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well, I guess I could have another try. Great, and don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again. Caillou was going to a food fair in the park with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow! Look at all the food, Grandpa! That's right, Caillou. This is called a World Food Fair. The people here are making food from all different countries, Caillou. It's a great chance for you to try some food you might not have tasted before. Caillou could smell all kinds of unusual things, but he didn't know what they all were. What can you smell, Caillou? I'm not sure, but it smells yummy. Well, come on then. You lead the way. My tummy is starting to rumble. Well, hello there. How can I help you today? Hello, this is my grandson, Caillou. He's going to try some food from around the world. Well, Caillou, you've come to the right place. Have you tried a taco before? Caillou thought about all the nice food Mommy and Daddy made for him at home, but he couldn't remember having tried a taco before. Uh, I don't think so. What is it? A taco has a hard, crunchy shell on the outside and a tasty filling on the inside. Mmm. Well, that settles it. One taco, please. Here you go, Caillou. Now be careful, Caillou. Make sure you don't squeeze it too hard. Oh, dear. Caillou's taco had broken. It had looked so yummy, and he didn't even get to try one bite. That can happen with tacos. Here, have another one on the house. Thank you. Remember to be careful this time. Try not to squeeze it so hard. Caillou held the taco very carefully in his hands and took a bite. Mmm, it's really good. Caillou thought that tacos were very tasty, and he liked the way the outside crunched. It's crunchy. Here, try some. Okay, Caillou, where to next? A woman at the next stall was stirring something in a large metal pot. Caillou wondered what it could be. Hello, this is Caillou. He is trying different food today. Very nice to meet you, Caillou. What are you stirring? It's a curry. Curry is a very popular food in a country called India and it's full of all kinds of interesting spices. This one is spicy, and this one is mild. Caillou hadn't heard of India or curry before. India? Where's that, Grandpa? <laughs> India is a country on the other side of the world, Caillou. Can we have one spicy and one mild, please? Thank you. I'll try the spicy one. Mmm, just right. Caillou noticed that Grandpa's face had started to turn red. What's the matter, Grandpa? <laughs> that spicy curry is too hot for your Grandpa, Caillou. Here, try this. It's a drink made with yogurt called a lassi. It'll help you cool your mouth down. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's much better. That spicy curry sounds scary. Caillou wanted to try all of the food, but he didn't want to eat anything too spicy. Don't worry, Caillou. This one is only a tiny little bit spicy. I promise. Caillou felt a little tingling in his mouth from the spices, but it didn't make his face turn red like Grandpa. It's not too spicy at all. I think I should have the mild one next time as well. Thank you for the curry. Hello. Care to try some sushi? Mmm, my favorite. Sushi? That's right. Sushi is from a country called Japan. It's usually made with rice and raw fish. Caillou didn't like the sound of raw fish one bit. Raw fish? Yuck! Can we have three pieces, please? One for me, one for Grandma, and one for Caillou. Give it a try. You never know. It might be your new favorite. <laughs> it's too weird. I can't eat it, Grandpa. That doesn't matter, Caillou. Different people like different foods. I know. How about you and Grandma go find a picnic bench, and I'll bring you something I know you'll love. Grandpa had brought Caillou something, but he was keeping it a secret. What have you got, Grandpa? You'll have to guess. Caillou liked guessing. Okay. What if I told you that it's made by mixing flour, eggs, and water? Okay. Well, what if I told you that this food comes from a country called Italy? Oh, I know! Pizza! Almost. How about if I told you that this was your most favorite food in the world? Caillou knew what Grandpa was hiding. It's spaghetti! That's right! That is my favorite! Yummy! Caillou had lots of fun trying the different kinds of food at the fair, but he really loved his spaghetti. Caillou was at the beach with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. Daddy was going to take him exploring. Ready to explore the rock pools, Caillou? Where did the rock pools come from? They weren't here last time. They were, Caillou. You just couldn't see them because they were hidden under the sea. When the tide goes out, little bits of the sea are left among the rocks, including any sea creatures that were hiding there. Caillou wasn't sure he liked the sound of hidden sea creatures. But what if we find something scary, like a big shark? Don't worry, Caillou. There won't be any sharks. Follow me. You promise? I promise, Caillou. But be careful. Some of these rocks might be a little slippery. Have fun, Caillou, and be careful. Rosie and I are going to write a message in the sand to show you when you get back. Okay, Mommy. See anything in this one, Caillou? Caillou looked very carefully, but he couldn't see any creatures. No, it's empty. It's okay. Let's keep exploring. What about this one? I saw something. It was a shark. <laughs> I don't think it was a shark, Caillou. Come and take another look. Caillou looked again. It wasn't a shark after all. Oh, it's just a little fish. And look, there's another one and another. There's too many to count. The fish will be able to get back to the sea once the tide comes back, won't they? That's right, Caillou. You're a very good explorer. Shall we see what else we can find? Caillou waved goodbye to the fish and went off in search of more creatures. Caillou was taking extra careful steps. He didn't want to slip over and get his shorts wet. Wow! Caillou, come and see this! At the bottom of the pool, Caillou saw something very strange. Daddy, that's not a creature. It's just a flower. But flowers don't grow underwater, do they? It may look a bit like a flower, Caillou, but it's actually a little animal called a sea anemone. An anemone. An 
Anemone? Anemone. Anemone. You got it. Caillou thought the sea anemone was the strangest thing he'd ever seen. Daddy, help! It's got me! <laughs> Hold still, Caillou. It's not trying to hurt you, see? It's just a friendly sea snail. It felt really slimy. <laughs> Daddy, look over there! Well spotted, Caillou. It's a little crab. Caillou liked how the crab moved from side to side. It was dancing. Look, Daddy, I'm a crab! Crabs can live on the land and in the sea. Want to take a closer look? Yes, please. Careful, Daddy. It's okay, Caillou. I just got to try and avoid his claws. Does it hurt, Daddy? No, not really. He's only very small. Of all the sea creatures Caillou had seen that day, the crab was his absolute favorite. Well, we better get going, Caillou. The tide will be coming back soon, and we don't want to get wet feet. Goodbye, Mr. Crab! Mommy! Oh, hey, Caillou. So, how were the rock pools? I saw all kinds of sea creatures. My favorite was the crab. Look! That's great, Caillou. Well, Rosie and I were busy, too. Wow! That's your name, Rosie! And that one's my name! I've been teaching Rosie her letters. That's great, Rosie! <laughs> Don't worry, Rosie. Now all the sea creatures I met will be able to read our names, too! No, a crab! <laughs> Caillou loved meeting all of the sea creatures in the rock pools. Learning at the beach was lots of fun. Caillou and his friends were at the park. Caillou was very excited because today they were going to play soccer. Okay, everyone. Are we ready to play some soccer? We're ready, Grandpa! Are you going to be on our team? No, I'm going to be the referee. It's my job to make sure everyone plays by the rules and has fun. I'm going to score a hundred goals. You just might, Leo. But the most important thing is that we all play as a team. The first thing we need to do, though, is to warm up a little. Caillou was a little confused. Warm up? But it's not even cold. This is a different kind of warm-up, Caillou. We do it to warm up our muscles. Look, copy what I do. First, we touch our toes. After that, we reach up to the sky. Then, we do a twist to the right, and then a twist to the left. And then finally, we rotate our hips around, like this. That's it, Rosie. We're warming up. Caillou thought warming up was lots of fun. There, finished. Now you're warmed up and ready to play. Let's go. Good luck, Caillou. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one. Caillou dribbled the ball down the field. He wanted to score a goal. Over here, Caillou! Pass to me! I'm open, Caillou! Caillou could hear Sarah and Leo calling, but he wanted to score a goal himself. <laughs> Caillou was very unhappy. He was the one who was supposed to score. Come on, Caillou. Your teammates need you. It's not fair, Grandpa. I wanted to score a goal. Soccer is a team game, Caillou. You, Sarah, Leo, and Clementine have to work as a team and score a goal together. 
Watch, let me show you. Okay, Caillou, let's see if I can get the ball. Oh no, now Leo has the ball. You see, if you work together as a team, it makes it much easier. Caillou saw that they all had to work as a team. Okay, Grandpa, I think we're ready to play again now. Great! Caillou dribbled the ball towards the goal again. Pass, Caillou! Over here! Caillou stopped dribbling and passed the ball to Leo. Hooray! Hooray! Great job, guys! That was a great goal, Sarah! Thanks, Caillou! We all did it together! Caillou chased after the ball, but it was hard to catch. The other team was passing it around all over the place. Oh no! Great save, Clementine! Thanks! Clementine kicked the ball high into the air, and Caillou and Leo chased after it as fast as they could run. Get ready, Caillou! This was Caillou's chance. He took aim and kicked the soccer ball right into the goal. We did it! We scored another goal! Great job, team. That was a very good goal you scored, Caillou. It wasn't just me, Grandpa. We all had to work as a team. Okay, team. Ready to go again? Yeah! Grandpa looked around for the ball, but he couldn't see it. Hey, has anyone seen the soccer ball? <laughs> Rosie, come back! Caillou was very happy to have scored a goal, but was even happier to be in a team with all his friends. <laughs> <laughs>